Hi guys, so today I have my March book haul and I don't have a whole lot. Um, I am a little broke at the moment, unfortunately, but um, I'm trying to save up for more bookshelves so I can actually separate this madness out. So until I have that other bookshelf, um, I am going to be really sparse, well at least try to be really sparse on buying books because I definitely have a problem. It is my weakness and I'm very addicted to books. But I'm still really stoked and really excited about all the books I have, so I'm just going to jump in. So the first one, um, I actually bought the box set of The Red Queen and Glass Sword. Um, I've already actually read these. I just need to read King's Cage. But I listened um, to the audiobook versions because I love audiobooks. So I never actually had the physical copies, and now I'm really excited that I have the physical copies. Ah! So even though there's stuff that I already read, um, I'm still really happy that I actually finally have the copies of, because then I can put them on my bookshelf, and I can just admire them, and just touch them, and reread them if I want to. So, happy. And next I have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. I hope I said her last name right. This I saw, and I just completely fangirled and geeked out. This is so me. And even with the red hair, oh, I love it. This is so me. So this is about a girl who basically um, grew up with her dad watching this sci-fi show. And she finds out that the actors of that show are going to this, like, Comic-Con type thing. Um, and to be able to get a free ticket to L.A. to go to that, she enters this cosplay contest to um, see if she can win. And if she wins, she gets to go. And so it's kind of a dual perspective. So it has her perspective, but it also has the actor's perspective from the show that she's going to be meeting and he is really sick and tired of all these like um, autographs that he has to sign and all these comic cons that he has to go to um, he's just kind of over it he wants to be able to do something and move on with his life and get more into his career um, and he he also is like a closet nerd and they end up finding each other and they're like they totally geek out and Rami is oh I'm so excited to read this this is super me. Like, I love cosplay. I love comic cons. I absolutely love sci-fi shows. Stargate is my favorite show for sci-fi. I love it so much. And if I can meet any of those characters, I totally would. Amanda Topping lives in Canada in Vancouver, and she comes down to do the Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle every year almost, and I really want to meet her. I love Amanda Topping. I'm totally geeking out right now, but I really want to read this book so bad. I'm probably just gonna like read it right now. I can't wait to read this. I'm so happy. And the next book I have is called Flunked by Jen Colantia. Horrible at names. I really hope I said that right. I probably didn't though. This one I am so excited to read. This is um, basically following a girl who lives in a shoe with her five brothers and her family can't really provide for themselves so she likes to steal. And when she gets caught stealing, she goes to fairy tale reform school. And the teachers are the villains of all of the stories that you grew up on. So Cinderella's evil stepmother, the big bad wolf, the evil queen, they're all teaching in this school to teach kids to be better and to be heroes. I cannot wait to read this. This sounds so amazing and ah, there's like, I think there's, there's three out right now. I don't know if it's that's it. I don't know if they're going to continue on with it, but I cannot wait to read this. My friend told me about this and he is like raving about it and he loves all the stuff, same stuff that I do. I cannot wait to read this one. I am so excited. If you cannot tell already, this whole book haul, I think I'm just like crazy excited for. This is just, ah, I'm happy. Even though it's not like that many books, but I'm so excited. I might actually be able to read all these books this month. I don't know. We'll see. Probably gonna be hard, but so the next book is The Thief by Megan Turner. I don't know how to say her middle name, so I'm just not gonna do it. This one I'm really excited about. Um, I subscribed to Epic Reads, and Epic Reads was explaining this a couple weeks ago, this whole series. So it's the Queen's Thief series. There's five books total. And you can read them in any order because they're standalones. And so um, they they suggest to read either The Queen's Thief or The Thief first. And then you can read any of the other ones in whatever order you want to. Um, but they all kind of tie in. But they're all like about different things happening in this whole world. And so basically they explained it as the high fantasy of um, Game of Thrones. Obviously it's not going to be as crazy as Game of Thrones because it's not. As thick, you can totally tell. 
but it's also with the like adventure and romance kind of style of um, the Legend Trilogy. I loved the the Legend Trilogy. I, I really enjoyed that one, even though it wasn't very fantasy. It was more dystopian. Um, I, I did quite enjoy it. But I also, I mean, it's Game of Thrones, like the high fantasy of Game of Thrones. I'm really interested to kind of see what's going on. I know there's like so many characters and I, I know that there's going to be a lot of craziness. Like I'll link the, um, the Epic Reads video down below so you guys can kind of get an idea of how they were describing it because I'm probably doing a horrible job at just spewing that information back out. But this is an Oregon Battle of the Books title um, and so I saw this one and just decided that like if the the librarians and educators picked this for the school's competition for the Battle of the Books, then this has got to be a great book. And it, it said in the video from Epic Grades that you can start with this one or the other one, so I'm just going to start with this one. And I'm excited to read it because high fantasy and they're standalones and you can read them in any order. I'm excited. If you can't tell. This, this is gonna, I'm going to say that word so many times in this video. I'm just going to have to get over it. So the next book is... Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane, and this is part of the Great Library series, and this is also an Oregon Battle of the Books, but I mainly wanted to read this one because it is about the Great Library in Alexandria, and in this fantasy book, in this world, that Great Library was not burned down, it is actually grown, and is part of every major city, and it is controlling the knowledge going in and out of that city, and it follows this boy named Jess, who really understands like the purpose of the library and he loves knowledge and he finds out that the people controlling the library are not actually good. Let me let me read the back of this. This is what really sold me on it. So um, Jess discovers that those who control the great library believe knowledge is more valuable than any human life and soon both heretics and books will burn. People I don't really care about, but books burning, I'm freaking out. So I need to read this book. My last book I am really excited about. <gasps> I can't wait to read this one. So this is Wildwood by Colin Malloy, and this is actually based in Portland, and I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, my friend that told me to read Flunked also read these ones, and this is like one of his favorite series. He basically said, think of like Narnia, but in Portland. <sighs> that sounds amazing. Ugh, I'm so excited to read this. Ugh, I gotta stop nerding out. Okay, so um, this one, there's it's a trilogy. And basically follows a boy and a girl, the brother and sister, and they end up going into these woods, and it's actually the woods right outside of Portland, and they end up finding this whole other world in the woods. And that's all I know for right now, because I don't want to read too much into it, because I don't want to get my hopes up, although I already am, but I cannot wait to read this one. I'm really excited. There are pictures in this. Who doesn't like pictures? Little pictures. And then they have like the, I don't know what this is called, but like the uneven edges, like... There's a term for that. If you know what the term for that is, please tell me below, because I really want to know. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to read all of my books, but I cannot read all of them. So I think what I'm going to do this month is to let you guys help me decide. So I'm going to put up three books. I don't know which ones yet. I will figure that out in just a second. But I'm going to put up three books, and then I'm going to have you guys tell me below which one you think I should read. If you've already read them, let me know. Okay, so I figured it out. So I think these are my options, because these are the ones I'm like most nerding out about. So the Geekerella, the Flunked, or Wildwood. So which one, which one do you think I should read? All right, so that is everything. Leave me comments down below of what you guys got this month and what you were really excited about. I can't wait to hear all about what you guys are getting as well. And tell me about a book that you most geeked out over when you bought it and you were like the most excited to read it. Think of something that like you, it was so you when you saw it and you knew you were gonna like it, just the insta love, and you just, you were so excited to read it when you got home um, and you're completely geeking out like I am because I can't be the only person that does this. But I can't wait to hear your answers. And if you like my videos, you can hit the subscribe button and be notified when I post new ones up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much. Bye.